Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be br bringing you a replay of a useless twat. And by useless twat, I mean a team-hitting, team-killing asshole. Or asshat, however you would like to pronounce it. Now, one thing I've never noticed until watching this replay was the bombers that would come in. And I never knew that those were starting off with bombers that would be flying. Yeah, so I'm not exactly how long it takes for the spawn spawn in to start. There we go. But yeah, basically everybody starts off going towards Bravo objective with me and my Panther tank. Beautiful war machine, nonetheless. Very powerful. And I accidentally clip this guy, and he shoots me in the engine block, damaging my suspension and engine and everything else. Well, at first I thought maybe he just cycled around. It's like, yeah, probably that he was cycling around and accidentally hit me. Must have been all an accident. Nope! He hits me again. And at this point, I was wondering, what the heck is he doing? Does he not realize that the blue over my tank is ally? I guess not. Apparently, I guess he must have played... I don't know. Some game where blue is apparently enemy. So I was wondering, like, is he seriously just gonna waste all his shells on my Panther when he has a T3457 and barely penetrate the armor? Yep, well, need to say that this guy, who happens to be called Lotto 2, is. Well. Honestly, I don't know what I would actually call him. Because I know he was mad because I accidentally clipped into him. Understandable. But, uh, is that... Excuse enough to shoot at an ally? And then he proceeds to shoot at my barrel some more. And at this point, I've had enough of him hitting me. So I look at him, seeing what he's up to. It's like, alright, he's pointing towards the enemy. But I take a pot shot at his crew. And then basically, yeah, like, fuck you, Lotto. I'm getting away from your ass. If you seriously want to team hit and team kill our own teammates, then yeah. I was like, okay, maybe I scared him off from shooting at me. No. He proceeds in a couple of seconds to follow my tank. Now, keep in mind, I had already used one fire extinguisher because of him. He shoots again and misses. When he shot that round, I thought it was an enemy round. It's like, okay, so an enemy is shooting at me. Yeah, he's coming up, he shoots at me again. Takes out my engine block again. So I have to use fire extinguisher. Yep, and he proceeds to run away. Because now he knows full well that half... That, that a couple of our teammates knows that he's been doing this. And he doesn't want to get into a fight with several tanks, including enemy tanks and friendlies. So he decides to run off to the right flank of the map, which, quite frankly, I was glad because then at least he'd be being somewhat useful in attacking the enemy. Yeah. Granted, that didn't exactly happen. So, yeah, at this point, I'm moving up in my Panther 5. Panther 5 Panther. To try to take Charlie Cap. And we're pretty close to it. Now, at this point, I believe I was shot and caught on fire by a Tiger tank. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh no, it was a bomb. A bomber bombed me. Beautiful bomb run on him. Granted, I never heard it coming. Yeah, so I decided, yeah, I'm gonna come back in with my Panzer VI Tiger tank. Much better, but barely. 
and he's just up there doing his own thing, not really helping the team or any, like, not even being anywhere near teammates. And he gets taken out. Sucks for him. Um, really does. Karma finally caught up with him. Yeah. Now, one thing I never noticed until watching this replay was I thought I was the only one that Lada was shooting at because I accidentally cut him off. No! He proceeds to shoot at another ally. Granted, I don't know if that's if it's the Sherman or this Panzer IV up here. Yeah, so he proceeds to go and team kill this Sherman. I was like, huh. So you have nothing better to do than team kill allies. It's a wonder why you have any kills. Oh wait, no, all his kills are allies. <laughs> Such a... And he proceeds to bail out of that plane for some reason. Yeah, so up here I'm just following up this T-34. Not exactly sure who he is. Ah. Jama94. I proceed to follow Jama94 up to Charlie Cap to help him cap... It. As Lotto is, well, going the exact same route he took earlier, which he knows there's going to be an enemy over there. And, of course, he's already spotted, so they're going to start shooting at him. Not exactly the, uh, smartest of plans, I must admit. And he runs into something, I don't know if it was just a lag spike, or if, like, something detracted him. But he proceeds to uh, basically shoot at an enemy, enemy with his side armor facing enemy and I tank, tank. And he proceeds to move, try to get a little bit into better pos position. From which point he will eventually be taken out really quickly again. Ammo. Right. And I'm pretty much up here dealing with a, I think it's a Tiger II Horsha. Yeah. Up here, basically, dealing with the Tiger II. And the T-3485 as well, I believe. Yeah, so basically, at this point, I know a lot of people, if they saw a score, they'd pretty much quit. Because it looks like it's going to be an unwinnable battle what many people would think. And honestly, at one point, I myself was thinking that, especially with the fact that Lotto wasn't really helping out all that much, and I believe he is actually still shooting at friendly targets, or friendly tanks. And at this point, I believe he's gonna get ammo racked by a hidden tank. Maybe not. But, yeah, at this point, he's racked up five kills. Personally, I haven't racked up all that many, because I've mostly been trying to stay away from Lotto. Yeah. And I accidentally run into this pole that apparently you can't break. Beautiful. And according to the score, the battle's about to be over in, I'd say, a minute. Give or take. Well... I pull up onto this cap with several other allied tanks to help start capping Alpha, or Charlie, start helping cap Charlie, and that's what we do. We manage to cap Charlie, and the enemy team, I believe, has... I have no idea how many tanks they have left, actually. I think they lost pretty much all their tanks. Yeah, so basically we take over Charlie. No, they did not lose all their tanks, they still have a couple tanks left, but... Yeah, they, they have a couple players still left in the... or did. Yeah, this guy, poor guy who spawned in, got taken out pretty quickly. <laughs> Same with this guy right here. So pretty much all the enemy team has left is uh, T-3485. And at this point, one would one be amazed that 
with how the score is in terms of them leading by, I think, several, about 10, 12,000 tickets that they would lose, which had me amazed as well. And it was about this point that I realized there was an enemy tank somewhere over here, but I believe he was taken out by a T-34. And towards this point, we take over Alpha. And keep in mind, we have less than uh, 200 tickets. So I come up here, and you're going to start noticing I'm going to start firing on this open space. Which, ironically enough, I don't know why, but it was giving me hit markers and a score for getting a hit. I don't exactly know what was up here. I'm assuming it must have been a bug. But it's like, uh, basically where you aim at a weak tank, weak point on a tank, that's what it was giving me. Yeah, so now, as you, you can actually see, which is something I just noticed, I noticed in the tank, when you fire at this specific place, yeah, it actually it ricochets off of some of the uh, what I'm shooting at. <laughs> yeah, at this point, match is almost over. The enemy has, I believe, one tank left. Maybe. Yeah, they have one tank left, an IS-1, and he's destroyed, so pretty much all their tanks have just about been knocked out. They have no players left, apart from maybe two or three that have, I'm assuming would be reserve tanks. Nope, yeah, they lose all their tanks now. So, pretty much the enemy team was defeated, and we won. By the, te by the skin of our teeth, nonetheless. Definitely one of the closest battles I've ever had. And, honestly, it would have been a lot better had I not been freaking team hit by a lotto so many times. Yeah, so thank you for watching, and beware of Lotto 2. If you ever see him, definitely try to stay away. Otherwise, he might try to team kill you as well. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.